Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about container orchestration and then the different tools which can help us in orchestrating the containers. First of all we will try to understand what is container orchestration. Okay. So now we have like we understood what are the containers all right and now what we are saying is each and every microservices can live in these containers okay but then who are who is going to manage these containers the, the life cycle of the containers what happen if a container dies our application dies or some particular error comes and our services down right how we are going to manage the, those containers because what we need is our service should be up and running 24 7 without any downtime right so we need a, some kind of mechanism to manage all these containers running together because one service will have like 10 to 20 microservices and you have a 20 to 30 different containers running for your application if any one of your microservice fails your application will still be up and running but some feature will be breaking in this particular case so how we can orchestrate these containers in a way that whenever a particular state is destroyed for a particular container then we should be able to recreate it right so managing the the life cycle of the containers and keeping them up and running is called as a container orchestration so docker is a platform and tool for building and distributing and running docker containers that we already know that docker is actually creating the container runtime okay and it is helping us to create the containers and running them but we are not talking about one container or two container what if your application has 20 to 30 containers how we are going to manage them how we are going to orchestrate them right so there comes these different tools kubernetes is a container orchestration system for docker containers orchestration means everything about containers from managing to scaling up to scaling down to managing the life cycle of containers so what if uh, if a particular container goes down then recreating that containers and managing the application state as up and running that is the responsibility of these orchestration tools and we are talking about kubernetes is one of them okay so this is just a simple architecture of kubernetes which where we have one master node and another slave node and in the Kubernetes world these containers are called as a pods these pods will actually talk to the API server and we have a etcd hcd which actually manage the whole cluster information and this API server will help us to create the pod or destroy the pod create a new pod so there is a kubelet in the each and every worker node there will be master node and multiple worker nodes every worker node have this kubelet and kubelet will talk to this API server to feed a proper information about the current state of a, of a particular worker node that we will talk in some separate video about kubernetes so what is container orchestration coming back to the same point container orchestration should be able to provision and deployment of containers like now i have a new set of features coming for this particular microservice only these particular pods should get deployed right redundancy and availability of containers if particular container is going down we should be able to recreate the instance scaling up and scaling down right allocation of resources between the containers external exposure of services running inside a container with the outside world so we will be using load balancing and uh, the networking between these containers health monitoring of containers and host configuration of application relationship and containers running inside it so this is what your kubernetes indirectly is doing it right scaling up removing containers to spread the application load evenly across host infrastructure basically what these ports are these ports will be running on some ec2 instance or some other uh, worker node worker node will be nothing but a, a particular ec2 instance particular machine right so there we have to divide these ports and we have to provide the enough resources for the containers which we are creating in docker terms we are calling it as a container in the kubernetes world the same thing known as a pod okay container orchestration is all about managing the life cycle of containers especially in the large dynamic environment consider netflix right so such big enterprise systems or some particular game right 
they are using these kubernetes set of technologies to manage their runtime environment through these different containers right so we have to manage the life cycle of the containers through these orchestration tools okay what all tools we have docker swarm provided by docker only but it's hardly a bit player we have apache mesos and marathon popular one is a kubernetes and we also have a nomad these are different orchestration tools we have right so most of the time we don't create our kubernetes cluster what we do is we create these kubernetes cluster from vendors so like we use aws then i will be just using eks elastic kubernetes uh, service i will use provided by aws to create a cluster so it's like a sim simple flex so you might be writing cloud formation or just using the Q, uh, aws console to create a kubernetes cluster similarly we have a gcp google cloud kubernetes engine gke uh, and similarly we have a aks azure kubernetes management solution right so azure google and uh, our amazons all are providing these managed services where you don't need to do anything you just click on few buttons and you will be able to create the containers rest you have to create the worker nodes and just create the the kubernetes environment rest you just need to deploy your application you just need to have a deploy that yml files and just deploy your application there okay so this is when you are giving this responsibilities to the cloud vendors or cloud providers like aws azure for your Kubernetes. Okay, thanks everyone.